All right, so before you turn around and say, hey, you've already done the train heist, Death Wish. What is going on? What do we got another video of the train heist here for? Well, this one is actually me going for the Death Wish achievement called Choo Choo, which is just completing it on Death Wish. But that achievement was not always there. So when they, I guess they released the train transport heists, uh, the train heist was part of a different heist. It was like a second day or something. Then they separated it to make it a single day. And I think there was some kind of error with the Death Wish achievement uh, for completion. So they recently, when I say recently, a couple of months ago, added the Death Wish achievement in. And of course, I'd never got it. So that's why I came back in to do it on my run for 100% achievements. Um, and the other thing which I also want to note is that although I do have a video of me completing this heist on stealth, it is not solo stealth. I had to bring a friend in to help me out because... I also have a video on here of my fails because it was just, it, well, it was actually horrendous. The amount of time that I spent on it. I mean, since I've spent more time on other, making other videos and other heists, but at the time I was making the train one, I just couldn't handle it anymore. I needed some, I needed some help. We needed two people to do it. It was just too horrific. Spent too much time on it. The fails video I did, one attempt, I actually got... I think I got all the bags bagged up and everything. I got caught moving a uh, ammo bag at the end. And I think I was about 52 minutes in or something. And then it went loud. And I'd still probably got 15 bags to move or something. So there was no way I could move 15 bags with it getting loud. Plus it wouldn't have been officially stealth. So I, I think that was the last attempt I got before I asked for help and got somebody in with me. So... I'm back in, doing the Death Wish, and the only issue with this that makes it difficult, I mean, it's not a difficult heist, to be honest, um, once you know it. Um, my tactic is this area here, I guess this is the lumber yard, is that you can actually take over this completely. There's three guards that you're going to have to take out to take over it. And then I think there's three, two or three civilians, one of them will carry a key card. That you can also kind of get down to and uh, you've got free run of this area at that point so as long as you can get that part taken care of at the start and you buy the body bag deployable at the pre-planning then you're pretty much you're pretty much set now the like i say the only the only difficult part of this heist is getting into the train cars so i believe there are i want to say five i want to say five train cars and three of them are going to have something in that you need. So two of them are going to have uh, the ammo bags, or like the shells, and one of them is going to have the turret in. So you need the turret, um, I guess you need the turret first, then you can start loading the ammo, but you need all three, essentially, anyway. So you pick up the hard drive at the start, like you saw me do, and then opening the train cars is the tricky bit. So I've got upgraded ECM, so that means I can open two, um, free of charge. I'm going to get a key card from one of the guards that I subdue and handcuff so that's three but that leaves two more train cars so you can i guess you can risk your luck and you know keep restarting until you get it but if you keep do it going through this part here you know that would drive you crazy so um you use the key card for one the ecms for two then you got two more now you could bring silent drill and the drills on this don't take that long i think they're 30 seconds but you'll see that i think there's probably around five guards that walk down either either catwalk of the train here so 30 seconds without somebody coming is it's not that easy to do. i mean it can be done especially if you do the one to my left here um, but they can see it they can see it kind of next to the post and when they're on the stairs they can also see it so at any kind of distance they're gonna they're gonna see the drill no i have done the drill though and it and it, obviously it does work but it's a little more risky than anything else. So, getting to my point, what I did bring on this build is a silent saw. But unfortunately, it's not totally silent. So, you also have to be super careful with the saw. Um, when I first... Because this, this was actually my first attempt coming, coming at this. But I think... Well, first attempt in this run. I think I tried twice, maybe a month or so ago. And I tried a saw... And I just gave it a quick brief try, but I, once I used the silent saw on the train car, it alerted 
uh, guards down below in the valley. It alerted guards on the roof. And that's when I realized that the silent saw isn't technically, in quotation marks, silent. So it needs a little bit more um, care and attention when you decide to saw a train car. So obviously the best train car to saw is going to be the one straight ahead of me there. The, the, I guess the first one. And then the second best option. Well, maybe the second best option is the one at the other furthest end too. I'm not too sure, but I don't go for that one. So I grabbed my trusty saw out here, and it was a dud anyway. So there's nothing in that one anyway. But at least it's one out of five that I know that you know that it's not, you know, it's not, it's not going to be. So I mean, it, it is a waste, but whatever. And now it's just a matter of getting to the next one. So I'm going to use my trusty ECMs to get in two of them. Use a key card to get in the other one. And you will notice this video is probably, let me take a quick peek on how long we're looking for this video. It's going to be about 25 minutes, 24 minutes. The original video file, I think, is about 38 minutes. Game time's about 38 minutes. Because there's a lot of bag running on this, I know that no one wants to see a lot of bag running. So I happily sped up the bag running. There's 20 bags of ammo. Um... But you, you walk ammo, you can't run ammo, you walk it the same speed as you walk, say, a money bag. Um, and then the turret is a little slower. I think it's more like when you walk with gold. So that takes a little bit of time too, but it's not too crazy. But there's only three, there's only three turret parts and there's 20 ammo bags. So it's 23, 23 bags total. Um, it can get a little hairy when you are moving the bags because you're moving them over this way. There is a zip line that you can use, but I don't recommend using the zip line if you're doing this solo. Because the the guards from that top platform that you can see kind of ahead and above, um, they can they can actually see the bags when they're sitting next to the zip line. So that's kind of it's kind of a moot point when you're uh, doing this solo. It is always, uh, if you, it is, this one is easier. I guess any, any highest moving bags with that amount is going to be easier with more than one person. But, so you can use this little uh, crafty trick. This is what I'm using here. Just run up that steel girder or whatever it's called. A-frame, I don't know what that thing is. Um, run up that, jump on top, because if you do saw the train car that I'm going to saw next, anybody above it is going to go nuts. Anyone behind it will go nuts. Obviously, anyone in front of it will. But the the other ri the other risk that you run is there's people down in the valley, so there could be a couple of guards down there too. So I see my old buddy up top already. There's another one going up. He's kind of stood there. And the you know you can actually get spotted from the guys down in the in the valley area. That was super close. Um, even just running across that catwalk, they can they can spot you. So when you're moving the bags, and of course you're always going to get a train car that's right at the end. You're never going to get the first three which are underneath that stairs. So the train. So this is the ammo in this one. So I'm just going to place the hard drive because it takes you a while to get all the guards in the right spot to be able to open up the other cars anyway. So and then we'll ECM jam this this frigger. And I think this might be a, a dud. I'm not sure. I do advise opening the train cars on this side. One mistake when I... The very first time that I did this heist. I, I don't think I did it stealth, obviously. I think I did it loud with, with friends. And, of course, you have no idea what you're doing. So, I think I ended up drilling both sides and when you drill both sides when you're doing it loud obviously you get enemies from both sides so that was a bit of a disaster but I didn't really know that they were the same train car for some reason it didn't just compute in my head that the, the double sided I figured you just had to open every door that you saw um, and that was a bit of a stupid thing but and these security buffers are a little frustrating when you get the uh, and I noticed I didn't have a body bag just in case here so this is why I run back but yeah these little security buffers kick in they can be a little annoying there's four spots that the uh, the control panel can be 
Two of them are super easy and two of them, of course, are all the way down the other end. There is a part of this video where one of them goes off down the far end and uh, I have to speed up the uh, guard section because it's actually a little ridiculous. I was kind enough to speed up me opening the boxes too. I thought that was a nice little touch in the video. Saves about four seconds a box. I thought it was pretty funny. Made, my la made myself smile when I decided to do that. So I'm three guards down, and I wish I had some kind of hox hood or something that told me how many guards there were. That would be nice, because these guards that you can see ahead of me can come all the way to where I'm stood on this side, but they can also go down the stairs, um, down into that, down into the leafy area below. And I think at this point I'm good to go because that guy's walking away, and you know immediately the second that uh, you touch the the metal. And there you go, I'll do a cheeky couple. Oh, maybe there's six doors then. I think there's six. Yeah, I think there's six doors. So that would be uh, two ECMs, one key card, and then three saws. That's probably what I did. Now, like I say, it's tough moving the bags because you're always going to get some of the cars that are going to be the wrong end of that staircase. And you have to, uh, when you bring the bags out of the train car, if you don't do it fast enough, there could be guards coming from your left, there could be guards coming from your right, so you've got to kind of have some awareness. And you don't want to sit there and use the skill where you sit still for three and a half seconds to mark people, because ne they're not necessarily going to mark the people that are a little further away, so that could be an issue too. So now I've got to go in and bag the shells. And then I've still got to, well, I think the other one now I've just got to pick up the hard drive now to put on another one and open a, another vault door. But I think I've found all three at this point. Here we go. See, a guy downstairs spotted me there. We'll grab this bad boy. We'll run this oh, Almost. 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 And then I think it's funny here. I have a little bit of trouble with this. You view the cameras. He won't let me place a hard drive. So I view the cameras. And then I view them again. And then... I view them again, and again, and again, and again, and there you go, it lets me. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on there. I do not know. Because I thought this one was shells too, because when I first looked on the camera it was shells. But that one is actually the one with the turret in there. And it is completely random. I, well, I say completely random. I do believe that there's probably a, a few set spawns. I don't think it's completely, completely random. So I'm sure if you did this heist enough times you would probably figure it out. It always seems to me that you get one that's on the very end, for sure, on the far end. But sometimes this one here, you can have a, uh, you can have a vault in at the same time. But this is, I've got to admit, I do enjoy this heist. I think it's pretty fun. Um, it is a little lengthy. And um, I'm, I am surprised that it has not been patched where you can't take over that area. I'm surprised that all the guards don't... And I'm just going to zoom this part up. I'm surprised that the guards don't continue to go in the area at the beginning there, the lumber, the lumber spot. It seems a little odd that they wouldn't they wouldn't fix that. They fixed the golden grin pretty much immediately. That was a little close too. Because the golden grin, when that first came out, that guard area... Was a little uh, was a little easy. There was three guards in there that just meant that you had complete free reign after that. So once you took that once you took that area right, you could run in and out and move. How many bags was on the uh, on that? A ton, absolute ton. So here we go. We got another one that's busted, but this is one of the easier ones. This is more more my kind of spot because no guards go that far. The guards that are around this area, even though they do go up that stair stair section, they will go around just to the other side of the stairs, and that's as far as they go. So that's always nice. That's nice. They are back there. That's where they'll go to. And I'll speed this one up too. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. So one more after this one, and then we start moving a ton of bags. So that one's open. So that's kind of good. Didn't take that long. Sometimes, I guess they're like kind of like drills. Sometimes they'll uh, they'll break two or three times. Now this is the bad boy that we want to throw. 
And we've just got to move through these. So I zoom this one. Zoom. Speed. I'll speed this one up a little bit. Just to get rid of it. So through the one, we'll get number two. It looks weird because I I'm not uh, I'm not talking over the final rendered version. I'm talking over the the version in my editing software. So it doesn't look as the speed up doesn't look good. It's more like choppy than it does look uh, actually sped up. But it kind of looks shitty. Plus I do like the sound with the speed up. Everyone sounds like a little chipmunk or a gopher or something. Not that chipmunks or gophers speak, but. The way that they're portrayed in cartoons, that's what it sounds like. So we've got to grab the last bag. There she blows. Get that puppy in. And then the driver drives away with a turret. That's three. And then he'll come back. And then it's just a matter of getting the damn 20 turret bag. So now you can see over there straight ahead next to the little, little symbol. Little pliers. Are those pliers or wire cutters or whatever they are? Well, whatever it is, there's the zip line. So we could set that up. The gods do not get detected by the zip line being there. Speed that up too long. Um, but like I said earlier, sending those bags on that zip line sends them to um, to the fence down the other end there, which takes a hell of a time. So now it's turret moving time, and I end up throwing some of these. I think I throw throw a couple into the to the truck, but I actually throw a couple into a different train car because I feel that I've got the opportunity to go and fix because the alarm's going off again. So you'll see me just throw some in like random spots, and that's why I slowed it back down to regular time here. I throw them in here just because it's closer, and once that once I'm in in that train car, moving from that train car is not that bad. So if I have the opportunity, I'll take it. This is a this is a decent area you can kind of sit and take guards out in because you can see the lengths of both of both sides of the train cars. You just got to be careful where that electric box is that I've got to get to. Guards can come up that stairs right there, and guards will go down those stairs too. But really be careful of them coming up. I've been caught a few times in previous attempts when I was trying to do the uh, the first solo stealth video. I would be fixing the the little box, and so that's why. You gotta be super careful. So I'm gonna throw this into another train car. Just because there was guards around the area. I feel like there's no point in me just sitting there and having dead time. I may as well work towards some kind of objective, make it a little bit easier. So I'll come back. And I do have one pager left. So I am gonna take care of that one pager very, very shortly. In fact, I think this guy here has got my judge bullets written all over it. You can hide behind this this bunk of tree trunks or whatever you want to call them. They can't see you once you're behind here. My dude's gonna come over. Unless he goes down the stairs. I don't remember. No, he's not. I'll take this son of a bee out. Boom. So no more pages for me. And so that's four guards out, and I do think, just by the look of it later, I think that there's probably another four or five guards on the map. And then we'll just throw them in the trash can. Get in there. Nice. So that gives me... Of course, there's another one here. So let's not... Oh, there's another one ahead of me here. Might be time to start moving bags, I'm thinking. Who knows? But, like I said, this heist can take... Well, I mean, saying that, when I was when I was uh, talking at the beginning, one of my attempts when I first ever tried this solo stealth took... Well, I got far, but I was in for 50-something minutes. That was probably due... Oh, that was close, too. That was probably due to me waiting for things to get in the right spots and not utilizing downtime when guards are just walking around in circles to move bags just a little bit closer because there's a lot of guards around there now like this guard i can't run by him unless i go down the other end um, which is a little bit more risky so i may as well move more bags right because if you just sit there and wait then you just you know you're just adding on to the time of the entire thing so that being said the difference between this heist being like the like I said the total 
the total game time was about 35 36 minutes and that f that attempt where i got spotted and i was still still had to move 10 15 bags took me f over 50 minutes so that probably would have been over an hour before i got that one done so just utilizing this downtime and this is where i speed up the guards cuz they know where obviously the guards know where i want to be then all of a sudden there's one there's two and then I think there's a third, which is a little ridiculous. You move all those bags and have no guards, and then all of a sudden, there's four. One of them went downstairs, two went across, he went across. I mean, isn't that ridiculous? So now they're all down the side that I'm, da or all down the side that I'm running backwards and forwards. No one down this side. Check the stairs, and then speed this thing up just to get it open quicker. Nice little touch. And I think that's the last one that, of those that I have to fix, so that's kind of good, because they're a pain in the butt. And then it's all about friggin' moving bags, which I speed up like you wouldn't believe, do some crazy shots. Because I'm not entirely sure, I know that guards can spot bags at crazy distances, and I know there is some kind of game mechanic that gives it an actual in-game distance relative to real life in meters or whatever it may be. But I don't want to risk it, so... I just don't want to throw them somewhere and then have them spotted. I know that they can spot bags if you use that um, zip line, so that's why I don't just want to throw them in at any old spot. And this is as fast as I could speed the thing up. I don't know uh, what kind of speed rate it is. It might be two times or three times. But I think it looks pretty cool. can't actually uh see i don't have the regular hood on right now i have this mui hood like a minimal interface and it obviously it tells me when the objectives are updated and everything but it doesn't have how many bags out of how many bags that i've got or need you know i can press the tab the tab key on my keyboard and it brings in uh it brings that information in along with body bags and stuff but i guess it doesn't really make a difference, you know. I, you got to do you got to do it anyway. So who, who really gives a crap, right? So there is a couple of times when I'm walking away from the train cars with the uh, sh with the shells, and um, I don't get almost spotted. I mean, my detection probably goes fifty percent. But one interesting note about this is because I'm using a saw build, so it's I'm actually using my using my stealth build that I did that video on and I just modified it a, a little bit just to get the saw so I went on the enforcer tree to get the saw put the silent blade on it where my st normal stealth build with a judge will be a detection rating of 4 I'm actually running a detection of I think it's 22 on this one I could have got it to 17 if I used a Gruber um, for the secondary, but I like the judge so I can blast people out of the way, especially in this lumber area at the start. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility of where you kill people if you use a shotgun so you can push them into areas that are safer instead of waiting for them to get there. And that's it. So detection of 22, 24 bags, and then I'll slow down my 360, jump into the end zone, swing it clover. Boom. And that is it. You see I get the choo-choo achievement. Which is pretty nice. Very late in the game. And that's pretty much it. 36 minutes game time. Not a bad little haul.